We all enjoy a good game show to pass the time, and on Nickelodeon, it's no different. The channel has had its great share of game shows throughout its course, but we'll be focusing on the ones that took place during the 90s. Which ones were our favorite? Well, sit back, grab some snacks, and let's find out together. Hey everyone, welcome to 90s Nostalgia. Today, we'll be ranking the 9 Nickelodeon game shows that took part in the 90s, starting from our least favorite to our number one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to 90s Nostalgia, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our countdowns regarding everything 90s. That being said, let's get started. Number 9. Wild and Crazy Kids It may not have had a long run, but it was visually engaging for many kids who were otherwise focused on other shows going on. It kept plenty entertained with its set pieces, often being known as the forgotten stepchild of Guts, which we'll get to in a second. It was already washed out from the get-go, but became increasingly so once other programs began to tower over it with their popularity, causing it to be lost in obscurity. Number 8. Nickelodeon Guts this show screamed 90s with its fashion and its over-the-top hijinks. The energy was felt everywhere through its challenges, expressions, even their camera movement, which kept the audience from ever getting bored. It's remembered as one of Nickelodeon's biggest projects in the 90s, and while the challenges weren't so undoable for kids, they were still challenging enough to have interesting results. As a kid, you'd watch this and think to yourself, yeah, I can definitely do that. Number 7. Double Dare a show full of chaotic stunts and good family fun, Double Dare has seen its fair share of variety through its run. It eventually received its own spin-offs in the form of Super Sloppy Double Dare and Family Double Dare. Alongside its trivia knowledge, it also debuted Nickelodeon's staple for Slime being involved as part of their game shows. There is also Pies to the Face, which was a staple of comedy in the 90s too, though it didn't really stick as much as the Slime did. Number 6. Think Fast if you can imagine a game show mixed with Simon Says, the show would practically be just that. Riddled with a ton of physical challenges, Think Fast lifts up to its name, having two teams of two against one another in a battle of memories. This involves repeating a series of random and goofy events, becoming even more challenging after each team adds in their own activity, keeping things on edge the entire way through. Number 5. What Would You Do? Having the same host as Double Dare, What Would You Do carries over the physical zaniness and adds in interaction and participation from the audience. While it could be considered a sort of sequel, the show remains self-contained and acts as its own separate thing despite the similarities. The contestants were picked on the fly from the audience by the host, and the winners would get to put a pie on the loser, which was one of the trademarks carried over from Double Dare as well. Number 4. Figure It Out this was the most Nickelodeon of any Nickelodeon game show, given its cast. Each episode contains a mix and match of popular Nick stars, which was exciting to see as a kid since you're so used to being entertained by them already. This would give incentive to root for your favorite star in hopes that they win, adding a lot of tension and humor between each problem. Definitely one of the more memorable game shows on Nickelodeon's lineup. Number 3. Get the Picture Think of this as a fun adaptation of Connected Dots to ever hit television. The game itself is filled with a blend of mental trivia and eye for detail, each team containing two people being one boy and one girl, who compete through an array of trivia questions as a means of guessing a hidden picture on a 16 block board. As time goes on, they're able to get a more in-depth look at the picture which allows them to make a closer guess, the winner being the first team who can guess the picture correctly. Number 2. Nick Arcade Gaming has evolved over time, but Nick Arcade was ahead of its time, with its premise revolving around the idea of competitive video game matches. Each team competes against each other in various video game challenges, occasionally having to answer trivia questions as a means of getting more points than the other team. It's a literal game show with a concept that allows its competitors to actually be part of the game they're playing and compete within them. This allows the show to age well, albeit if you ignore the graphics and overall quality of the games that were showcased. Number 1. Legends of the Hidden Temple Without a doubt, one of the most legendary game shows to hit television, let alone on Nickelodeon. Legends of the Hidden Temple became a cult classic almost instantly thanks to its unique presentation and massive scope. 
Kids will compete through a variety of courses and interactive challenges, losers being eliminated after each round until it's narrowed down to the final teams. The last remaining players would compete in the hidden temple itself, riddled with tons of puzzles and traps meant to throw the player off. Each episode was different, so it was always a blast to watch whether you were alone or with your friends and family. Those may have been our ranking order for the Nickelodeon game shows from the 90s, but what do you think? Did you enjoy our list? Which Nickelodeon game show was your favorite? Share them with us in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to 90s Nostalgia so you can keep up with our wide array of countdowns regarding everything 90s. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all next time.